Yeah, my name is David Kelly. I'm the principal engineer for facility siting for Exxon Mobil. Uh, the first thing I would say is the research that ERC perform. The money it costs for membership, we get back an order of magnitude greater uh, amount of research than that. And we do get to influence the topics that research is on during the voting uh, system that the ERC has. Yeah, I mean, I have a global role, so and I'm based outside of the US, so the ERC is not just for US uh, companies. Uh, we use the regulation outside in Europe, Asia, uh, and Australia. It's a very much a risk-based regulated regime, and we get challenged by the regulators uh, often to demonstrate that uh, the assumptions that we're making are correct. Being a member of the ERC gives us the option to go back to that research data, the fundamental data that, that underpins those, those uh, ideals, and so we can demonstrate to the regulator that, where, where that data is coming from. The ERC methodologies are not specific to one, te one technology. The, the methodologies they use, you can, you can use them for the BST method, the TNO method, any method that your corporation uses to perform blast studies. Uh, it enables us to update our corporate uh, procedures, our corporate systems, and a lot of the research that ERC do, people think uh, the wrong impression that it would make your systems more, more onerous, more complicated. Actually, a lot of the work that ERC perform uh, helps us reduce and, and remove conservatism from the model, from, from, the, from the tools based on the modeling that's performed.